Yeah, I'm a parking lot nodder. You know. He's just an old man. He, he, you know. 71 years old, her dad is. He just had his hip broken. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. you know, the cop calls up and he says, uh, Daniel's been arrested. Yeah, and Daniel. My dad goes, he, he didn't know who no Daniel was. Yeah, and so uh, he says, uh, Daniel's been arrested. You know, he just, he know you, he just waved at you. Yeah. He knows you by Dan. Yeah, and so and then he said uh, someone, has, someone with a driver's license has to come and get Kalani. And so her dad just had his hip broken, just got out of the hospital. Isn't he on pain meds? Yeah. Yeah, he's on pain meds. So he might be a little out of it, right? And uh, asshole never mentions Treba. He doesn't say, you know, can I speak no, to Treba? No. Um, you can get in, man. You. <laughs> this car's coming, and you can get it easy. What the fuck? God damn. <laughs> Constipated motherfucking driving and shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so anyway, he comes back and he says, no, can't find anybody that has a driver's license. Treep is in the house and she has a driver's license and she would have taken care of Kalani. And, uh, what did he say, though? I mean... He didn't put it like this. He, he was trying to fuck me every which way, you know? The dude's a punk. I think his name is uh, Blomstad. Um... But we'll get that. What way did you go? That way? No, I was going straight down. And he fucking lighted me up. What? Right up through here. He was parked right over here. Or he was parked. Yeah, I think he was parked right here. And this is, he lit me up. He got, well, he got behind me after uh, 49th right here. And then uh, lit me up on uh, Stockton. And then motherfucker takes my car, parks it in the UC Davis parking lot. No one I'm gonna get a ticket. Betcha he told dude to give me tickets, you know. Which so will yeah, you went to jail. Yeah, it'll eventually lead to that car getting fucking towed. So it's, did you have a ticket? Yeah, two tickets. Two of them. And uh, you know, so dude doing me a favor like that. And then uh, you know, sending my fucking uh, pipe and my weed uh, not weed, but my pipe and my grinder for weed. Separating it from my property, sending it to fucking uh, Davis. I can get it in 60 days. Um, yeah, he's a fucking. You didn't bring that weed that night, huh? Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. But you can. I mean, if you have... I can. You know. But he probably would have fucked with that too. Probably would have sent that to fucking Davis. You know. Yeah. Um, the dude's a punk, and uh, he profiled me because he's fucked with you before. You know. Uh, Treva doesn't have a car, so she'll walk to the store. And dude is fucking, uh, you know, insinuated. Yeah, you do a lot of walking, you know? Kind of, like, make her into a hooker when she's fucking not. She's a preacher's daughter. And uh, so he sees me with her and gets his little fucking chance. And, yeah, he could have taken my car into the courtyard Marriott's parking, you know, and uh, would have been cool. I would have gotten out. would have been all good. Um... What I'm going to do is use asshole as an example of what not to do when this gets famous. So, you know what, to all you people out there that are thinking Stevie doesn't work, uh, question, girl, does the violin literally fucking make women see a sexual god? Speak on it. Oh, you can. The violin? Yeah. It yeah. makes women, yeah. Yeah. Say so they can hear it. Yeah. Okay, she, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, she's a little shy, whatever, um, and Stevie works. And so what did I say? I said I was going to come out and I was going to, you know, fuck some people up. Uh, Bottom pool got fucked up. And, uh, you know, it'll happen again when I fight. And uh, everybody that doesn't like asshole cops. I mean, I have a cop going to send me money. And uh, put it like this. I'm going to make all you guys look better. We're going to weed out these motherfuckers that want to take out all their angst on innocent people. I tell you what, um, conditions at county jail are deplorable. Uh, fucking, the food is horrendous. It's almost like a RICO Act thing. They make it so bad that you really can't stand to fucking eat it. And what's your alternative? You're going to spend money on commissary and the charging fucking 79 cent. They're trying to say, I don't have any of it. Uh, to charge 79 cents for a fucking uh, <laughs> thing of soup. Um, five dollars for a fucking little 99 cent thing of fucking cheese bread. You know? 
talk about a racket, you know, innocent fucking, I mean, kids caught up for shit that doesn't hurt really anybody, um, and it's all because of a lack of money, that's what it is, so, you know, if you don't like asshole cops, fund the stevia movement, and you know what you might get to see is Dan Quinn buy up all the property around Blomstadt, I think his fucking name is, and, uh, put in people that can't stand cops as his neighbors. Now, his neighbors that live, like, one house away, um, or two houses away, they're gonna love him, okay? Gonna depress the house values. We'll make sure that, you know, there's a lot of colored folks, you know, getting a come up, you know, into new housing, kind of a repatriation act, you know, giving them a fucking, uh, helping hand, and, uh, you know, eventually, I mean, in a movie type scenario, I, I could see driving women away from him because he's like a fucking plague. And hopefully, ugly motherfucker hasn't passed on his genes. I tell you what, I swear to God, dude, that fucking soft ass turkey neck <laughs> looks soft as fuck. I'm thinking, you must hate me. Definitely. Alright? Because uh, I'm like this and you're like that. And, you know shouldn't be a hater, homie, because uh, you never know when you're going to run across a future Nobel Prize winner. And, you know, I've already told Treva that I might trade her. And, you know, some people actually say it when they call me. And the fact that Stevia does blend water into a fuel, uh, it's a theoretical concept thing. You know, kind of hard to get over. So yeah, whatever sure. happened to Kamani that night? They took her to doggy jail. And I want to say that the people at the uh, animal place on Front Street were wonderful. Uh, Kalani had less fleas on her than when she comes back from the dog park. Okay? And, uh, yeah, they were way cool. They treated her nice, treated her loving. And when I went to pick her up, there was a young woman there. And she said, can I get your autograph? And I said, my autograph? I said, do you know who I am? And she goes... Sure, Dan Quinn. <laughs> I was like, God damn, her uh, cousin, Cage Fights. And so I wrote him out this little uh, kind of like voucher ticket, you know, coming out of Carnage. And I'll give you some of what I gave Scott Smith, hands-wise, you know, a uh, little knowledge. Helped him out in his career. Man. And we'll see. But, yeah, so anybody that doesn't like cops, you know, imagine this selling pure H2O for a dollar a gallon and everybody everybody's drinking it okay because of what it does and it's making me filthy rich and so paying a thousand dollars yeah so paying a thousand dollars for a, a dollar donation it's kind of a lot but you know it would be a drop in the bucket because we're talking at the very least 110 billion generated each and every year out of the United States of America <laughs> yeah we're real united um and uh, helping pay for the Stevie movement, getting everything famous, and uh, getting asshole cops out the street for fucking good. <laughs>